This is it. Everything turns on this. choices or the gentle paths and this is no different these creatures would take our lives our children our future and we must resist a splinter of ice works its way into your mind a pretty speech it almost brings a tear to my eye now slit his throat and open that gate. The Absolute wants all of them dead. What are you doing? They'll kill us all! Hells, you're with them, aren't you? Personal, you betrayed us. A splinter of ice works its way into your mind. The way is clear. Now we can cleanse this place completely. Kill everyone. A glorious day. The Absolute will be pleased. But there is more to be done. This place is home to druids. Root them out and kill them. <sighs> Butchered. They didn't oh, stand a chance. Best to make camp. Praise the Absolute. She will reward us well for this exquisite carnage. The true honor is to serve the Absolute. She loves you fiercely. I see that in the strength she has given you. And she has so much more to give. There is a bond between us, true soul. I can see what you are. What you want. And you can see what I want. Through her eyes you see yourself. Skin glistening with sweat, hands bound. Ecstasy or terror, maybe both. You feel her breath on your neck, her fingers running down your spine, and then it is over. I will come to your camp tonight. We will celebrate this victory together. As you approach your camp, the raucous celebrations have already begun but you are intercepted before you can join the party. <laughs> As I feared, there is no place in your company for a hero. I want no part of this, or of you. I didn't escape the hells to lose my soul to another evil. I, I can't be part of this anymore. Volo has fallen into the goblin's clutches again and appears to be chronicling your misdeeds. The goblins praise the Absolute, but their celebrations also honor their leaders, Minthara, and you. You fought well, and so did these creatures. 
thanks to our leadership. When you tire of their company, come to me. Tonight, you are mine. Warm body, warm flesh. This one is a true soul parasite. It can enhance you. You can absorb its potential. Open your mind to it. You already know how. Don't worry. You won't come to harm. I'll protect you. Your mind swells as it subsumes everything the tadpole has to offer. Everything it was, and everything it was destined to be. Pure potential. Pure power. Good. You have grown your power and improved your chances of survival. Absolute who guides our soul. These creatures are loud. Ugly. I hope they aren't your friends. Don't lift a finger, boss. I'm keeping guard. You go have a drink. It's a helmet. What a glorious celebration. Hip deep in gore. The goblins stole good wine. It goes straight to the head. Shadowheart's mind is drenched in drink and confusion. She's killed before, enjoyed it even. Now an ill, twisting feeling lingers in her gut, one that has nothing to do with the wine. Guilty? Ridiculous. What's that to be guilty for? I serve the Lady of Loss. We strip those tieflings of hope itself. Just let me enjoy a drink in peace. What's wrong with enjoying a gift from our guests? Maybe, if I down enough of this swill, it'll pickle the worm in my skull. We set a pack of refugees on fire. A child could have done it. Not exactly an ambush for the ages. Maybe. But I know better than to share my bed drunk. Unless you meant to raise my spirits by other means. I prefer to keep a few things secret. It's old habit. Thank you. The offer's kind, but it's not a kindness I can afford. Well, hello. Welcome to my humble party. What's your poison? Red? White? Ah, a good, full-bodied choice. So, what are we drinking to? Other than a pile of corpses. Hmm. Too surviving. Mmm. Delicious. So, what happens next? Nothing. <laughs> How can you be so cruel? Come on. There's a spark here. I know you felt it too, darling. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mistook you for someone with taste. But have it your way. 
I'm happy to entertain myself. I have seen the Kithraki tear a screaming Niogi's legs from its belly to fashion into blades. Yet, they could not match your nerve today. It was enough to drive me to madness. I smell their blood on you still. I smell your moisture. How torturous for us both that I'll never get a taste. Oh, but do enjoy yourself this night. I intend to myself. This is the worst moment, when the screams of the dying have faded, and the conquering hordes howl and yelp as they come to their vile climax. Massacre. A spectacle of slaughter. And I... Participated. What are these bloody stumps that used to be such delicate harpists of the weave? No. Two shadows are darkening my soul. The shadow within and the shadow without. You. You led me down this path. Don't blame me for detesting them. I don't know myself anymore. All this, it's not who I am. Around you, I'm not who I want to be. I should leave. lives truly worth so many others. I can see the answer in your eyes. And that's why I'm leaving. Farewell. Ah! The guest of honor arrives! I've been observing the festivities from a um, sensible distance. Fear not! I am content and quite forgotten where I am. Better in a cell than in a stew, what? <laughs> but I'd rather talk about you. If I'm to write an account of the battle, I'll need details while they're still sticky. What you did at the Grove, I rather think the world should remember. Don't you? I am simply saying that you are a creature of ambition, drive, intent. The Grove, for example, its destruction was quite necessary to your purpose, I have no doubt. It's simply that, for the life of me, I cannot imagine what that purpose was. Could you elaborate? Oh, a ruse! You've played the part admirably, if I may say so. These beasts appear quite convinced that you're a comrade in arms, just as the tieflings were, and I expect. But rest assured that your story is in safe hands. Polo Temp Gadam knows exactly what you are. Guides ourselves. <laughs> She looks you up and down, her mind touches yours. You feel her hand at your neck, her lips closing around yours. Are you ready to give yourself to me? Good. I will join you when you go to your bed. You are mine. Wait until morning, true soul. All will be revealed. Buzz of celebration quiets to a soothing hum as you approach your bunk. 
Though you seek repose, you needn't spend the night alone. There is one who yearns for you in the dark. Who will you seek? Your heart skips a beat. What treasures might this night bestow? You are here. Good. Come with me. is an instruction. Now, silence. Lie down. You learn fast. Your obedience will make this more enjoyable for both of us. so do your minds. Her whole being is laid bare before you. And half hidden at the center of her desire, you discover something unexpected. Fear. Have you by my side in Menzo Berenzen when our work on the surface is done? Speak to me. Tell me what is in your heart. No. I want the truth. I want to hear it in your voice, not in my mind. The Absolute owns my mind. I cannot remember a time when her voice did not fill it. Except tonight. Tonight, the Absolute was silent. I only heard your breath and your voice. How is that possible? The artifact pulses softly, sending out a warning. It is a friend. Quiet. If she hears you, she will kill us both. I have felt her love, but I have also seen her wrath. Those who turn from her grace die screaming. This is blasphemy. But so much that has happened since I left the Underdark is like a dream of somebody else's life. I do not know myself anymore, except tonight. Tonight, I wanted this for myself. I must pray, and you must rest. Tomorrow, we will have fresh orders. In your dream, you stand over yourself as you sleep. A knife in your hand, murder in your heart. You are ready to strike, to end your own life. But then a shock runs through your mind. This is no dream. Wake up, Trusu. We must talk. I watched over you as you slept. 
peaceful and silent. And I spoke to our God. I asked her why she had chosen you, made you one of her faithful, when you are so clearly broken. Beautiful, but broken. There is something missing in you, and I do not understand it. When the Absolute failed to answer me, I feared that you had somehow infected me with that same absence. And so I decided that you must die. But then, a miracle happened. As I took out my blade, her voice returned to me, and she told me what I must do to purge myself of doubt. She told me to decide your fate, to determine if you are worthy. If you are, I am to send you into her embrace, at the seat of her power. Good. I believe you. Travel to Moonrise. We will meet again there, at the heart of the Absolute's power. To gather our forces in this region. They're ill-disciplined. Without a strong hand, they'll disperse. The Absolute has spoken to you already, in whispers. But at moonrise, you will be in her presence. She will test you. If you fail, you will break. If your faith is strong, you will become something even more beautiful. With difficulty, but I can help. The land around moonrise is cursed. Traveling there will sap your strength and your sanity. But I can protect you. A wretched creature in my service can guide you through the curse. This harp will summon him. Play it when you are in the shadows and he will come to you and know that you are a friend. He was a drow once. Now he is an abomination. A victim of Lulth's cruelty. His minions will wait for you at the mountain pass on the threshold of the shadow curse. I warn you, he is quite mad, but he knows the path to Moonrise better than anyone. Go to him when you are ready. I will lead what remains of my forces to Moonrise ahead of you. <sighs> when we next meet, we will be together in the Absolute's presence, and she will make us her champions. It was bad enough having just one of those tadpoles forced upon us. I can scarcely believe you actually inflicted another on yourself. Fine. What's on your mind? What's there to think about? Goblins spilled blood, but we survived. That's all that matters. 